Well, hello there, people of the internet, and hello again. I'm the Multi. Welcome to part uh, 44, I think, of my Run to the World Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. In the previous episodes, we destroyed Thrace. They declared war on me like a few turns in the past, like a few turns earlier. And now their faction is already dead because they are massive idiots and underestimated me significantly. Uh, and now we're still the same turn. We are. Attacking Croton, and if we win this battle, that'll be the end of the Brutii. So then we have one Roman family less to deal with. So the faction leader is in here, along with Principes, Praetorians, Auxilia, Light Auxilia. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, the Julia are on their way, on two sides, near Salona and near Cerventum. So we have to be careful of that, but uh, should be okay. Before night comes, this battle will be done. Whether the day goes well or not is in our hands. Brave sons of Greece, fight well and earn the favor of the gods. There we go. At the gates of Croton, the final settlement of the Brutii. Well, it's the same city layout as in the previous battle, but now it's a Roman city, so in that case we're going to do the same approach here. They will have some stuff on the wall here. And unfortunately, we, we do not, still do not have any like good melee infantry. Well, they, we have, but, you know, we can't put a phalanx, we can't deploy these guys in phalanx on the wall, which is the big issue. Alright, archers nearby, just in case. General here, cataphracts here, elephants here. Chariots as well. To the walls! What did they put in the walls? Oh, the auxilia. If they put the light auxilia on the walls, then it was kind of alright because then they would throw spears a bit, but then it was done. But auxilia are rather decent. I mean, any. Fucking melee infantry unit could easily beat, uh, could easily, rather easily beat Auxilia, but yeah, I have phalanx that have to fight them in end to end combat, so that's just a, a no go. They do have elite cavalry stables here, though, so that's nice. So I can retrain the cataphracts if I lose any. A very tiny hyperdrome. <laughs> And they have an awesome temple of Bacchus. Oh, I should be able to ex expand this then, because that's the, the Roman uh, equivalent of... Um, uh, what's this fucking face called? Dionysus. Army barracks. Okay, so I can retrain, every I can retrain anyone that I lose. Except, of course, if I lose elephants. Principes are here. Alright, if I s I'll send the archers here. Because when that tower is ours, the archers can maybe help take out a couple of the uh, auxilia before we engage. The ladders are in place and our men are now attacking! Against courage, what use our walls? <laughs> Raise the ladders! Alright, guys, up and over. Yeah, fucking gotta move on, guys. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I don't really know where to stand exactly where the tower can't hit us. Because I want to be close enough so that I can do something immediately, but I don't want to be too close so that I'm gonna get shot all the time. Can have a nice little look at the uh, Mediterranean there. <laughs> also, love how the the tower the, the, the that the temple just towers out above everything. <laughs> All right, so are the auxilia coming over? Not yet. The principes are here. Shields drawn, ready to attack. And then the Praetorians are here. Yeah, but they're just standing there. Nice triumphal arch. Okay, I guess I can move them just a tiny bit further this way. Oh, where the hell is this guy going? <laughs> and did that in the previous battle too. But then it was the captain, commander, whatever you want to call him. Now it's the standard bearer. Okay, this tower is ours, so I can easily put the archers here now because they won't do anything. The tower won't do anything, I mean. Of course, I can't put them too close to this because that's still owned by the Brutii. Okay, but yeah, they were fresh recruits and I've got a bit of experience, so... How much attack do we have? Uh, which unit is this even? This guy, oh, this guy, he's got, he's got the most experience as well. Okay, 13 attack, 18 defense against... 6 attack, 16 defense. So we have more, way more attack. More than double their attack. We have slightly better armor too. 7, 4, 5... Yeah, 745 versus 882. So yeah, the shield doesn't count for too much for my guys, but the armor and defense skill is better. Okay. Alright, very good. You almost all those guys are on there too, so. You start to get a move on there. Siege towers have opened up, but we still, of course, have to wait for a while because siege towers are slow. Yeah, they're like slow. They're slow, but they're not. Uh, at the same time, they're not. They're also not slow. You know. March! And they're, they're they're coming over the auxilia. Archers run up. But I can't hit them because the majority of the unit is still back there, I think. Yeah, you see? Look at that. Like, you, they can hit here. Alright, well, just, just go. I hope that the armor and experience allows them to beat these guys in end-to-end -end combat. And of course they have less units, men than the unit. These guys were sick from the plague. Hmm. Yeah, fucking look at this! Um like Everywhere on paper, I am better than them in every way, shape, or form. And then, oh, well, except for the shields, but th that's it, you know. And then on, and then, but they still like very easily like slaughter most of my guys. 
really annoying. Okay, there we go. The tower is starting to shoot at them. So it over explodes. Like, you don't have to worry about the fucking flanks. And if I move all the cataphracts nearby, that could help a bit. Oh, I, okay. For some reason, they just didn't fire it to tell them to fire, even though they're on fire drill and those guys were in range. Anyone that you can pick off is good. Doesn't matter because these guys are fucking struggling. Even though we have more attack, more defense, more arm, more def more attack, more defense, better armor, better defense skill, and there are way more of them. Well, of course, the, the, the numbers don't really matter because there's only these guys at the front that are fighting, but still. In every way, shape, or form, except for the shields, we are better. Okay, gotta flex a bit further this way because... The towers are shooting. Towers are still shooting. Fucking hell. Okay, you stop. If I send in the elephants now, you get back because they are afraid by over num the overwhelming number of enemies. But uh, afraid of elephants counts as a separate uh, separate morale penalty. So trying to give them as many morale penalties as possible so that they're s more scared, faster. Okay, everybody over here is just running around. Getting shot. Uh, they're getting there with people moving through the towers. And that be overtake Cassius, they're wavering now. Because of the elephants. Okay, if you guys... Uh, hang on. Go like this. And then the elephants can get a bit closer. Okay, and if we... Um, no, I'm not doing that. I wanted to use fire arrows to frighten them. But with my elephants so close by, that's not a good idea. Yes, and I know the, uh, the arrows are not directed towards the elephants, but they can still be scared by them. Come on. I mean, they know that Phalanx is not the best in hand-to-hand -hand combat when they're not in Phalanx mode. But don't then show me on paper, on every single way, shape, and form, that I am better than these guys. Like, that doesn't add up. If the if the fuck, the, the statistics show that I can easily beat them because I have twice the amount of attack, and better defense, and more better armor, and everything, and then, it, but then it doesn't work. Like, don't, then don't show me that I am better than these guys. Just then say, yeah, these guys are better.
Oh, those fucking guys are just waiting for me. Come on, just fucking break those assholes. You guys aren't even doing anything anymore, just fucking go. I love how I hear like a load of armor tings when those uh uh, I've always hit the auxilia as if these guys are extremely well armored. There we go. Thank you But when I have when I play as the Romans and I use auxilia they get shot to shit every single time Like only one volley and I lose like two-thirds of the entire fucking cohort and Then here when the enemy when the AI is using it all of a sudden they're like ridiculously As if they're in fucking Testudo or something Let's just plow through them now. We can retrain everybody, so it's okay. But still, it was very annoying that the game said, Yeah, on paper, these guys are fucking uh, great. So even without phalanx, you should easily be able to beat them. And then they, uh, you need to fucking use all of this bullshit just to fucking get through here. This is why I want the Legionnaires. I could I could have just sent and then I could just fucking send the Legionnaires on the wall and then just don't have to worry about it. I can go out Oh elephants don't do that. I can just fucking go out to fucking grab a drink or whatever in the kitchen and then come back and then the Legionnaires will have fucking conquered the city by the time I'm back. There we go, Centurion down. Alright, three remaining. Two remaining. One remaining. There we go. Finally. Now, get the gates. Good job. Stop and chill. You've done your job for today. Alright, cataphracts go in. We have a Roman general to kill. And some damaged sprinkler paste. These battalions have been shot the entire time as well. And they're exhausted, so that's nice. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, you go over here to capture that tower. Alright, everybody in. Oh, these guys are being shot to shit now. Charge them. Nice stop. Because you're going to be shot by the tower. Yeah, I think most of the people that I lost there were because of the tower, to be honest. Okay. All of you guys could just run over here. 
we all just sandwich this guy, then it should be uh, over pretty soon as well. Looks like they're trying to get back to the town center, everybody. Alright, General can also get in. Okay, what the fuck. Just walk through a gate. You guys have done this many times. It's not that hard. And then the game is still like, yeah, no, we are. We have to fuck around a bit because why not? The general's getting out of here. It's annoying. Great forum. Yeah, I always find it a bit weird that there's so much water here in the uh, Pro Consoles Palace. And all these fucking bridges, and then the only- the actual house part is just this. <laughs> it's not that much. But there's a crap ton of stuff around it, but the actual house is not that much bigger than uh, a Roman villa. Yeah, they're all trying to get back to the city center now. I just killed them really quickly. There we go. Like I said, quickly. <laughs> Alright, don't make the same mistake I did in the previous episode by sending the general in before the supporting cataphracts. Because I almost ended up lo losing Seleucus. These Praetorians are ridiculously exhausted, and they're also heavily damaged by the towers. And what's I oh, yeah, the uh, light auxilia. The one unit that they really could have used on the walls, well, as, as well as the Praetorians, of course. If they had put the Praetorians on the wall, then I, I would have probably just quit the game and oh, quit the game, quit the quit the battle, and then all of resolve it because there's no. I mean, look at how much fucking trouble these guys had with one unit of uh, of auxilia, which aren't even designed to fight infantry well. They lost more than, like, they lost about a hundred men just trying to fucking get through some auxilia. Winded. Tired, so yeah, so we do, yeah. So we have to wait a bit because we obviously do not want them. Is these guys are just chilling the entire time, so we don't want them to fight them while they're tired. You guys go there, capture that tower just for the heck of it. You guys get down here. And then we wait until all of these guys are fresh. Fresh. Well, warmed up works as well, as long as they're not winded. Fresh. Fresh. Fresh! Okay, thank you. Alright, boys. Time to murder the Brutii. Yeah, <laughs> also, also looks pretty scary from this part, probably, when you see just an army of iron horses suddenly storming right towards you. Alright, charge!
General, I told you specifically to, like, walk past the giant blob of cataphracts, but you insist on getting straight in there. Fucking Praetorians, they just insi also insist on standing there and throwing spears like assholes. The Light Auxilia, which are designed to do that. There we go. But yeah, the fucking Light Auxilia, who are designed to stand there and just throw spears all the time, they get right in the fight, and then the Praetorians are standing there throwing spears. Alright, just attack the Praetorians from the back. Even when the fucking Praetor- when the Cataphracts are literally fighting the Praetorians right there. Oh, that's a very nice charge. The Praetorians still try to fucking throw spears. Pathetic losers, there we go. The Brutii are dead. Good job. Victory! We have and exterminate the population. Kraton is mine, and there we go, the house of Brutii is gone. The first of the Roman families that is dead. Okay, so can I continue building the temple? Yes, I can. Nice, I can just continue with Dionysus. I thought so, but you never know. Oh, they did actually recover quite a lot of men, so that's quite nice, but still. Did not like the fact that they struggled so much with that. Uh, yeah, every, yeah, build sewers. There's a lot of unrest here. So to start training those guys uh, as the garrison and we'll... Throw those guys in for retraining in the ends. Yeah, you're going after there. Yeah, two turns, and yeah, I need to keep. I need to stay here a bit because there's quite a lot of unrest as well. But um, and you know, all this garrison and all that governor's influence are going to get out once um, this army leaves. So. Stay there a little bit. Alright, uh, no. Croton. We train the cataphracts and enter turn. Yeah, okay, well we saw that coming. And we also saw that coming, but the army is right there. And that guy's pretty old and he doesn't have that many good traits, so no. Ah, there we go! The faction leader dies of old age. That was kind of. That's exactly the reason why he was the factionaire, so that he wouldn't last that long. And now, we have the reign of King Seleucus of the Seleucid Empire. There we go. King Seleucus, 24 years old. Oh, the Julii declared war in Germania. Why? The Germanians are... Are they still here or something? Like, yeah, I think the Germanians like, are only like around here anymore. Alright, so, uh, let's do some building first. Alright, Damascus is expanding. Palmyra has expanded. Um... Lyceum. Memphis. Awesome temple to... Who the hell was that? Ares? Yes. Public order. So I built that theater. Thebes. Aqueducts. Also get that theater going. And Kira has sewers. Uh, there's no culture anymore. But get rid of that eastern wall anyway. By Lazoret, large temple of Artemis. We train the archers. And then you... Uh, oh, build that. Get rid of some corruption. And uh, yeah, the road's there, but then we're expanding the city right away. 
So, Sir Lucas of Abila, the new king of the Seleucid Empire. And the Seleucid Empire is going to destroy the Romans under his reign. Alright, I do. I kind of forgot to train anything here, so. Get that going so that you can leave. Assassin ready. On my way. Britain diplomat there. They have some peasants in here. Ballistas. And they have the plague as well. That's the perfect time to attack with this army, for example. Oh, that's their king. Okay. Why the hell do they bother with so much infantry? Yeah, there we go. That's where it's at for Scythia. Look at those guys. Scythian noble archers. I think those are the best horse archers in uh, vanilla Rome to the War. Well, with the possible exception of the uh, Amazonian chariot riders. But other than that, yeah, these guys are very good. Head hunting maidens. Among many Scythian tribes, the culture of war is so strong that both sexes are admired for their prowess in combat. Headhunting maidens are a product of this ethos and have a strong motive for drawing blood in battle. They are forbidden from marrying until they do so. Huh. Nice. Like, uh, I, I really love you, but you haven't killed anyone yet, so I can't marry you. Oh, don't worry, I'll just go on the battlefield and murder some assholes. Okay, thank Okay, good. Then we can get married. And then she comes back, drenched in blood. Let's get married now, yes! <laughs> wow, look at, how much, look at how little upkeep they have. What the fuck? They only have 41 denarii upkeep. They cost 600 denarii to train, but, you know, that's just a one-time thing. Nine hundred denarii to train those guys. Why the hell do they? Oh, oh, well, of course, because there are not that many there. <laughs> Duh, it's not a full unit. I was about to say, like, wow, that is one of the most cost-effective units I've ever seen. They're pretty good melee cavalry. They have access, so they do they have a bonus against? Yeah, effective against armor because they have access. So it's like, wow, it's just. And then only that little upkeep? Wow, but no, it's, it's just because this unit is heavily damaged. <laughs> Sorry, got ahead of myself. I thought that was like the best unit in the game ever, but like for cost effectiveness. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, I was sending you here. Yes, my lord. Moves depleted, sir. But yeah, come on, use that huge army and everything else. Just lay siege to poor Elysium. They have the plague, the, the perfect time to attack. Factionaire is in there. Who is my target? Well, he actually has a pretty decent chance to fucking assassinate him. Alright, so anyway, what's going on in the rest of the world? Uh, so yeah, Seleucus is our king now. And some traits and new people born. Is Seleucus already married, actually? I didn't have checked. Yeah, he is. Okay. Good. Yeah, this entire part of the family tree is dying out, is dying off right now. Died peacefully. Yeah, he died in battle. That was my fault. <laughs> well, it wasn't really my fault. He charged in the... Uh, uh, what's it called? He charged in some uh, legionnaires and he died. Even though there were like loads of guys of his bodyguard remaining. Died peacefully, died peacefully, died in battle. Died in battle. Died peacefully. Oh yeah, Demetrius the Conqueror. Died peacefully. Died peacefully. Yeah, and this guy was old. Died peacefully. Yeah, that was the point. That he was faction leader for a little while. So that Sir Lucas had the chance to... Uh, Oh yeah, we also should uh, check who is the factionaire now. That guy for some reason. Uh, oldest brother of... So that's Sir Lucas's nephew. Okay, well sure. Where are you actually? Oh, he's a governor somewhere. 
He's the governor of Tarsus. Yeah, no. Um, you're just you. That guy's just sitting there doing not doing anything. Uh, I guess. If, yeah, this guy's going to command the new army. It would be better if he was the factionaire. Or maybe like one of these, one of his brothers. I don't know where they are or how, whether they. That's a governor. That's a governor. That's a governor. <laughs> okay. Alexander of Ipsus. Okay. But yeah, uh, Argus of Tina T Tiana or something along those lines. Where are you? Because I think you would be better off as the factionaire for the time being. Well, actually, no. Let's just leave the guy as the factionaire for now because I don't expect Seducus to die anytime soon. So when Seleucus has a kid, we can make that kid the... He's not he's not barren, right? So <laughs> let's, let's let's double check. Optimistic, financially accurate, lover, beauty, refined taste, being a divorce, careless, mother... No, okay, he's not barren, good. <laughs> so once he has a kid, we can make that kid the factionaire. Okay, so yeah, the Romans laid siege here. Oh, okay, this is nothing. Look at that. This is the same uh, army that we fought in Apollonia, but then this is the ver the Julii version, filled with fucking town watch. Right, and uh, yeah, this is more dangerous. There are four eagles in here and two triarii, but they're up against a full army of mine, so there is not really much that they can do here. If you can. <laughs> Just imagine if you capture four eagles of the rocking Julii straight away if we fucking destroy them here. That would be very nice. This may be a good thing. Await my orders. Units. Yeah, I think depending on how this battle goes, this army should still be in good shape to continue to Patavium straight away after this. Don't expect to suffer that many casualties here, so. Hopefully, we can f win this battle well. And then continue straight towards Patavium. Bring the fight to the Julii from the north. Oh, they're on the hill. <laughs> Assholes. I mean, of course it's smart, but... Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, fucking withdraw... Rid I said withdraw. Why are you going there? You just came from there. Why don't you just walk back the way you came? Oh my god. Fucking hell. I hate this game sometimes. Okay, just assemble at the base of the hill. I said F. Okay, they put the Triaria in front. Okay, they're not, they're just holding a very a massive defensive position here. That's okay. It's a bit afraid that they were just going to bomb rush the, uh, the garrison that came in from behind. Which would have been the, a better choice if they did that, but I'm glad that they didn't. Alanx. And archers open fire. Triaria here. Units. 
Again, they just run past the phalanx. See the uh, fucking AI do that a lot lately. I don't even know what the fuck's up with that. Shoot at them. And guard mode. Okay, you guys push from that side. They're all heavily going that way. Touch the run, asshole. That's just Astarte, though. That's not that much of a big deal. I thought they didn't have any Astarte. Oh, and then they're... Oh, assholes. That's pretty pretty clever, though, but still. <laughs> they shove the, the cavalry out of the way by their charge, and then they have the perfect angle to fucking attack them. And it looks like the enemy army is retreating. Oh, no, they're just getting back to the hill. Oh, they're preparing for the charge. They're going loose formation here. Actually, elephants go back. Oh, eagles routing. Fire as will. Oh, what else that? Triarii? Yeah. Get out of there. We do not want to fight Triarii. Let's get back here. Uh, get out, actually. They're going to throw spears now. Alright, charge them. You guys go here. You may actually be able to cut them off. Triaria routers. They're steady still. They're throwing spears, nice. Run them down. They're tired, and these guys should be fresh, so we can easily... Okay, elephants, get in there. Are they routed? Good, stay and fight those other guys. Elephants coming in from behind. There we go, they routed, perfect. Get the general's unit. Archers, archers, cease fire. Oh, fucking hell, run them down. Go elephants. Captain is down. His men know their doom approaches. There we go. The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. All right, good job, elephants. Get back there and rest. Okay, you just run them down, but properly. Set properly.
There we go. And that is four eagles. No, I fucking only selected him. I didn't select the fucking elephants. You help out with that. They're having a bit of issue, uh, a bit some issues with that. There we go. We did take quite a lot of damage on the cut effects, unfortunately. So we may have to send this guy back for retraining after all. I mean, I could totally still just continue, but you never know. The Judea were, I believe the Judea were like quite some, we quite a bit weaker than the Skippy or the Brucey eye. But they may have rectified that. Surely they work, not that of mortals like us. But like, should we should have 100% or something of all the kill? Yeah, nobody survived. Four eagles, two Praetorians, and one unit of Astati down. There we go, we didn't get a ma oh yeah, look at that, they're coming right over again. With another huge army, and some supporting shit. Um, yeah, do we... Yeah, where can I retrain them? Bylazora? Yeah, Bylazora is the nearest play. How long does it take you to get there? Two turns. And this guy... Yeah, if we lose to Jessica, it would suck a bit, but it's not the end of the world. Why the hell am I sending you there, then, if I can retrain everything at, at fucking Bylazora? I can retrain the Pikes, right? Yes, I can even train the Silver Shields there. So why the hell am I sending you to Athens? I'll send... All right, I'll just... Next turn, you go into Bylazora, retrain, and then head over... Okay, so this guy just needs to stay here for a few turns. Then I'll retrain this guy, send them over, and then this guy can relieve him. He can then go back to Bylazor for retraining, and then both of them can go to the north. I actually wanted him to go towards um, Syracuse, but I actually haven't heard anything from the Scipii ever since they declared war on me. At least I don't remember. So, you know, I'll just let them be for now, since I'm having most trouble from the Julii at the moment, so... Then I've got two armies in the north here to go towards Batavium, Mediolanium, and uh, that one. <laughs> I forgot the name. Uh, and then I've got this army down here to take care of... I can take out Capua and then also Rome, maybe. Oh, no, no I guess I can send him to uh, to do that. And, of course, the this guy's coming over, too. And these two armies don't need to stay here for too long. Just need to keep the population under control for a little bit, make sure that the fences are up and running, and then we can uh, head over to somewhere else where they are needed. So, All right, so the big question is, can we build a fort there? No, we can't. Fuck you, Thrace! Fucking me over from the afterlife. Yes, On my way. No more Fucking assholes. That really, that really, really fucking sucks. Fuck you, Thrace. That's so annoying. Yeah, we can build one there, but yeah, just right next to Campus Scythia. It's easier if we have a fucking fort right here, of course. But okay, not much I can do about that. You can't destroy watchtowers. Move out. Onward. Build Almost built the wrong thing there. Just those guys. That's fine for now. There, and then you go at the very tip over there and build another watchtower there, and then maybe one more over here or something, and then that's good. You get in there. You get over here. And you build some watchtowers here. Okay. So, Thrace is down. Brutii are down. Julia are on their way over with aggression, but nothing we can't really handle. Okay. 
Hope you always enjoyed the video. Click the like button underneath if you did. Subscribe to join the Roman army, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later, Romans. Well, there.